live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I will to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So the topic we're going to talk about tonight is how to get started in the business world. And there are three ways you can uh, promote your business. Um, you can promote it on social media on, and on the internet, such as Craigslist, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And you can also go to events. Sometimes you may have to travel to a different area or city, but it may be all worth it, depending on how many people you, that sign up under you and you get more clients under there. And also you can pass out uh, business cards and flyers out there as well. Um, you can pass it in mom and pop shops, barber shops, or if you can uh, post it in a bulletin board, or you can just say it um, in public, just uh, don't solicit or anything. So let's talk about how you can promote your business on the uh, social media and on the internet. So um, if you are uh, going to be uh, promoting your business on the internet, there are some limitations on how you can promote your business. Just thing as uh, Craigslist, you can only post three times a day. Um, you can post in uh, three different areas. You can't post no more than that. It's it's kind of sucks, yeah, really, but uh, it's how Craigslist works. And also, you can post on Facebook. If you have a business, um, and if you want this to be your main bread and money, where you're a hairstylist, a barber, a landscaper, or a car dealer, a nurse, or a provider, or anything, you always have to have a Facebook page or a website. Because if you don't, then people will have a hard time finding you and believing you that you do business. So it's very important that you have a Facebook like page and a uh, website as well. So if you haven't um, looked at my like page and my website, I suggest you visit and go there now. Um, the links are below the video. So I hope you enjoy it. And by the way, I'm telling you that um, I am a graphic designer that I will design anything such as logos, business cards, shirt designs, book covers, magazines, and so much more. If you're promoting on Facebook, you always need to have a uh, website and a Facebook like page. And if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to check it out because, uh, again, I am a graphic designer. I design a lot of things such as logos, shirt designs, business cards, brochures, flyers, and so much more. And um, if you go on Facebook and promote your business, you can also promote on Facebook groups, but be careful. People will report and report you as spam and suspect that you are spamming a lot of Facebook groups, but you're really just promoting your business and all this stuff. Sometimes people can be petty. And if you're not careful on how you post, um, you will get a limit on posting in Facebook groups such as Facebook jail. And if you've never heard of Facebook jail, <coughs> or Facebook parole. It just means that you can't uh, do certain stuff for a certain couple of days or a certain couple of weeks. If you wanted to uh, post something in a Facebook group and it tells you that you can't, that means you're blocked from posting in Facebook groups that you don't manage. So, um, of course, it, it, it's nothing wrong po posting on your personal page. Um, it's just that you had to be um, vigilant on what you post. If you post your business on Instagram on the products and services you're selling, just uh, uh, post on what you're selling or what you're servicing, what your prices are, and if that helps, you can also put words and hashtags in it, such as if you're doing a hairstyling business, I would just suggest you put a uh, hashtag hairstylist. Or if you're um, doing a landscaping business, or lawn services, I suggest you putting um, hashtag lawn services, hashtag landscaping. So yeah, that's how it goes on Instagram. And you can also make a business page for Instagram as well. Depending on how many followers you get, um, the more followers you have, the more likes you get. So it's not that bad if you post on Instagram. Sometimes it may be slow, sometimes it may be fast. Um, you just have to be really patient. Um, it just takes time and it doesn't uh, take overnight to uh, get your name out there. And uh, 
I said it once on Craigslist that you know you can post uh, only three times a day and I don't know why they said that um, it's just how Craigslist does their business and uh, more than three times you can't do that because um, if you do then you just you're just uh, limited and you just, you're just going to get blocked there so and uh, another way you can promote your business is um, start passing out business cards and flyers you can uh, pass out business cards and flyers to local mom and pop shops barber shops and you can post your business cards on bulletin boards or on anywhere you see them um, if you see a bulletin board that has business cards flyers promoting business then you're welcome to um, and they should welcome you to uh, post your business and, and put your business card and your flyer there so you know people know who you are if you go into a shop um, always ask the owner permission to leave your business cards and flyers there um, because if you do that then that's more respectful but if you see a no soliciting sign that means you can't solicit ever so um, that means you can't uh, leave your business cards and flyers in there let's uh, get in mind of that of course if you're passing out business cards and flyers um, you can not probably uh, pass them out in uh, worldwide uh, retailer chains such as Walmart, Kroger, uh, Kmart, Target or whatever um, they probably don't allow that either so um, just make sure that you uh, ask permission first and ask to speak to the manager ask to speak to the owner of the uh, perim premises and then you'll be okay and another way to promote business is going to events like church events uh, events in your area such as music events, uh, barbecue events, um, playtime events or whatever events going on in your area. So if you try, go to these events and promote your business there and show them what you do then high chances are that you may uh, get some business there and uh, they um, you can they can ask for your business card and you give it to them. Um, of course, um, some events may charge you a little money just to uh, promote your business, or if you you can also set up your own event at a store or something. Just be sure to ask your the owner to promote your items, services, and whatever you have. Because um, if you uh, want to uh, promote your business, then the owner may ask you to get the percentage of your sales because, of course, you're on their property and you're on their. Um, territory that means um, they can control uh, what you do and what you sell because you know you're on their property you're, you're interfering with other businesses as well so if you wanted to do that I would suggest you um, if you don't want to pay a, the owner some money and not want them to get your sales just remember that you can always go to events um, you can always pass out business cards and flyers I know you can also um, promote on social media and on the internet and back to events if you're going to events sometimes you may have to travel to different cities different towns um, but it may be all worth it because you don't know how many people are gonna see your business you never know how many people are going to recognize you you never know how many people would want your business want to connect with you because of the products you're selling so you just never know sometimes you gotta travel outside the market to find your resources and that's what I had to do um, sometimes I travel to different cities sometimes I go on Craigslist and post but I can't post more than three times a day and of course on Facebook you just have to be really careful on how you post and how fast you post because Facebook jail is not playing I tell you so three things you can promote your business social media passing out business cards and flyers and going to events so, um, yeah, that's all the information I have for you tonight. And tune in next week for another update on how you can be a successful business person and a graphic designer. So, I'm Jerome. Until next time, peace.